In Italy, strict quarantine restrictions are in force in two northern hotspot regions close to Milan and Venice. Around 50,000 people cannot enter or leave several towns in Veneto and Lombardy for the next two weeks without special permission. Even outside the zone, many businesses and schools have suspended activities and sporting events have been cancelled, including several top flight football matches. Amid growing restrictions, the last two days of the Venice Carnival on Monday and Tuesday were cancelled. Italy has seen two deaths and the number of confirmed cases has risen to more than 189 of them in Lombardy. Iran's outbreak of coronavirus has significantly worsened with the death toll rising to eight on Sunday. The government has acknowledged 43 confirmed cases, although officials have warned the virus may have spread to all cities. Schools, universities and cultural centers across 14 Iranian provinces have been closed from Sunday. On Sunday, Chinese President Xi Jinping described the outbreak as the largest public health emergency in the country's recent history. He acknowledged shortcomings in China's response and said lessons must be learned. The combined situation in South Korea, Iran and Italy points to the early stages of pandemic. This means a global outbreak with the coronavirus spreading in the community in multiple parts of the world. On Sunday, health officials in South Korea revealed a further leap in the number of coronavirus cases with a cluster of infections linked to a hospital to a religious group near the southeastern city of Daegu. An annual mass wedding ceremony in the Philippines saw face masks and health checks included in the proceedings this year. The city of Bacolod, Philippines, saw 220 couples married in the government-sponsored event. The new strain of coronavirus originated last year in Hubei province in China, which has already reported over 2,400 deaths. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Suleiman Yeri.